This little video will deal with the effect of the angle of the sun on a solar panel. I think that instinctively most people know that if a solar panel is horizontal to the ground, it works best when the sun is directly overhead. This little presentation is meant to show why this is the case. However, in Canada, the USA and Europe, the sun is never overhead. This can only take place between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn at certain times of the year, the solstices and the equinoxes. This diagram shows that the Sun can never be overhead north of the Tropic of Cancer or south of the Tropic of Capricorn. So most of the time, a solar panel doesn't receive the full power of the Sun. A solar panel's rated output is based on optimal conditions. Let's look at what happens when the sun is square atop the solar panel. In this drawing, the sun is square overhead, and 100% of the sun's rays hit the solar panel. But when the sun's angle is less than 90 degrees, less solar energy hits the solar panel. For example, when the sun is at 45 degrees, 25% of the sun's rays miss the panel altogether. And when the sun is still lower, it's even worse. In this drawing, the sun is at 30 degrees to the solar panel, and 40% of the sun's rays miss their mark. Another factor that can reduce the effectiveness of a solar panel is the thickness of atmosphere the sun's rays must pass through. When the sun is directly overhead, the atmosphere absorbs 21% of the sun's energy before it reaches the surface of the Earth. However, when the sun is lower, the rays have more atmosphere to travel through before reaching the solar panel and more energy is absorbed by the water vapor and impurities. In this diagram, we see that when the sun is at 30 degrees above the horizon, the sun's rays have to go through 80 kilometers of atmosphere instead of 50. What can we conclude from all this? First, the lower the sun gets, the less juice you'll get out of your solar panel. Second thing, always park your solar e-bike in the direct sun. Third, it's worth doing whatever you can to angle your panel to the sun. Fourth, if you're planning a long trip, plan it around the summer solstice. September is getting pretty late for that, or early if you live down under. Finally, you'll always get more power if you're riding near the equator than if you're riding in the higher latitudes. These explanations may be a little too simplistic. Let me know what you think by a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Thanks for watching.